What's up guys? So, Google sat out the flagship race this year, presumably to avoid the cost associated with using a high-end Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It is expected to return to the premium market next year, and this could happen as early as March 2021. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, sub to this channel will be incredible. Now, let's start the video. Earlier, Google finally lifted the lid on the Pixel 5, showing off a phone that has significant differences from the Pixel 4 that was released a year ago. A couple of notable features are missing this year, but Google has promised the most interesting will be back in the future. Specifically, we're talking about Soli Radar Chip, which allowed Pixel 4 owners to control certain aspects of their phone without actually having to touch it and Google is planning to bring this feature back with its upcoming flagship device. Google hardware boss Rick Osterlo tells The Verge that the project solely radar and gestures will return. They'll be used in the future. He says they were just too expensive for the phone that Google wanted to build this time. So, according to Max Weinbach, there might be a true flagship pixel landing in or around March 2021, and considering the previous report from The Verge, it looks quite promising. It could make sense for Google to have a flagship on the way too, with Google's current phones all merging together a little bit of true flagship could stand out among them. When you think about it, it's not hard to see why Google pulled that particular feature from the Pixel 5. While it's true, solely helped speed up the facial recognition by detecting when your face was in view of the other sensors, there wasn't much point to it, since the functions didn't have much practical real-world use, but, in my personal opinion, when a physical fingerprint sensor can unlock your phone before it's halfway out of your pocket, you don't really need super speedy facial recognition, plus the absence of the solely chip has clearly made a dent in the Pixel 5's price tag, considering it costs $699 compared to the Pixel 4 $799. is said to be working on its own search engine. Yes, Apple is looking to replace Google's search engine with its own search engine on their iPhones. They have relied on Google for like last decade, and now they're about to change the game with their own search engine. So, that's all the latest news. Anyway, what do you guys think about? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you like this video, sub to the channel will be make my day and my name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, I'll catch you guys in the next one.